Hey, what's going on? My name is Al, and we're just going to play around with the volume mode for the Booleans in Maya 2026, just because I haven't used it yet. So we've got two spheres here. Don't get too excited. And we're going to go to modeling toolkit, press Boolean, and see if we can figure this thing out. Settings, and we are going to change this to union. There we go. So now we have these that are like forming together. Okay, so let's change the voxel size. Let's try 0.1. Okay, yeah, that's working. So let's do... 0.5. There we go. Okay, that's pretty cool. So these are all forming together. Okay, this is kind of cool. Let's just add a cube to this and then see if we can add it to the stack. So I just grab both of them, add selected objects. This one is now a part of it. Okay, so let's do 0.2. There we go. Now we can kind of see what's going on here. It's not super laggy, but I don't have a whole lot of detail. This is kind of neat. It's, oh man. It almost like I haven't used Blender in a while, but like they used to have a thing called like Meta Balls or something in Blender. Is this just that? I think it's called Meta Balls. Yeah, it was like these balls that would just fuse together. I'm curious if that's this has had Blender has had this forever, but I don't know if this is anything similar. It just reminded me of that. But this is like Dynamesh, essentially, kind of like uh, it's nice that we can put it where we want, and then surely we can just clear my history, right? Hold Shift D, yeah. And now it's permanent. So that's pretty cool. Time will tell if I'll actually ever use this. Honestly, I probably will because there's lots of times I go from Maya and then I send it back to ZBrush, to Dynamesh, and then back here. Uh, so that could be good. Uh, I'll have to push this to its limits. This was just try and play around, figure out how to get it to work. So it's definitely fun to play with. Let's scale this and now it's a penis. Okay, <laughs> that was not planned. I'm sorry about that. And then if I would like this to be a little bit sharper, we could hop back into our... Well, then let's do 0.01. Uh-oh, don't do 0.01. Yeah, this is gonna crash my computer. All right, let's press escape a few times. Get out of there. Abort. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it totally worked. Look at that tight weld right there. Definitely not great. Let's undo that again. So they had said that smooth preview would give you the best results. So let's grab this guy, press three on the mesh, and then I could still move this around yeah to see the results so that's kind of cool i'm gonna make this lower let's go boolean i don't know let's go higher 0. 0.3 yeah that makes sense you don't really need this super low because we can just press three it's really blocky press three and i can see what it's gonna do here and i'm sure i can just grab the individual vertices as well Uh, oh, I grabbed the wrong ones. Let's grab these. There we go. Ooh, now we got like slime bridge happening here, like in ZBrush. That's kind of cool. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my course, Noob to Ninja in Maya, where I'll get you up to speed with modeling, lighting, materials, and rendering. Check it out in the description below.